Hello and welcome back with another match of Shadow Air. This is the Spirit Mongo 187 and I have failed uploading some videos this week. I promised you guys for a video every day but I cannot make that reality. So I have a very busy week this week so I think in the future I'm posting like 3 or 4 videos a week. At least I'm going to try. But let's cut the chit chat. We see our opening hand with a double Puin and a double Alden the Brave and another turn 3 drop that's the Fleet Foot Messenger so what are we going to do? we are going to get rid of one Puin and we are going to end turn let's give our opponent a uh, high half fun so we are playing against the Amber 2 Amber and me go back for a long while the first time I started up Shadow Air on my phone I picked the Amber Rain deck because I thought yeah, a warrior is always easy to play. Just drop some allies or creatures or anything and kick your opponent's ass. But it was in for startup if you just begin the game, it's a really bad draw because with the Animal Rain deck, I don't know how it is now, but back in those days you didn't get a weapon in the deck. So you cannot use your ability. And I saw everybody using their ability and I thought what is this? Is it a bug or something? But nope. You uh, you cannot use your ability with Emma Rain uh, until you have a weapon, so that sucked pretty much, pretty pretty bad uh, at the start. So I recommend you to choose another hero, but Emma Rain. <laughs> but when you start making some gold, you can buy your first jeweler's dreams, and then you can pwn and kick some asses. Uh, our rating, let's take a look at the rating. I've played some matches on my phone, but it's still stuck on 258. So we dropped some rating. Our opponent is throwing out a jeweler's dream. And he's going to take down my Puin. Yep. On next turn, this turn, I'm going to take down his Jasmine. Nope, I'm not going to take down his Jasmine. That sucks. Um, so, what are we going to do now? We are going to stun this Jasmine one more time, I think. Because I do not want the Jasmine alive. Or are we going for some card advantage? Mm. I think we're going to drop our own Jasmine. Yep. And we are going to cast another Seductress on his Jasmine. Disable it. Let's just enter. See what he's going up to. He got three cards and a weapon in play, so. It's pretty nice. If he plays a Blood Frenzy, he got almost a perfect play. So yeah, I've playing the Amber Rain deck for a long time. And there's his Blood Frenzy for the additional card draw. They've got some resources left for another drop. But nope, he doesn't have anything. And what are we going to do here? Are we going to sacrifice the messenger? Yes, I do think so. So we're going to take out this chessman. We're going to drop our own blood frenzy. And drop our champion of Eren. We'll end turn. Our champion is probably going to die, but we're not in a bad situation yet. Unless he's going to destroy our blood frenzy, then it's a game for him. So let's hope that will not happen. So he's going to attack. Yep, he's taking down the champion. And now he can drop some allies. Nope, he does not. And we have some resources left. So the reason why I'm not going to sacrifice it, I am going to hold it. But just in case if he has uh, a servitize or the weapon, I forgot the name, and he will be removing my blood frenzy. So we're just going to keep this blood frenzy until maybe this got destroyed or something. But I built this deck around uh, four or five resources, so I never need six or seven resources uh, in the game unless someone is playing Bloods, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, <laughs> uh, Bad Sandas, and uh, the market, the card that everybody is going to draw two cards. I'm always bad at the names of the cards. It's 
really strange because I played Magic the Gathering for a long time ago and I still remember lots of those cards. But and this one it is what I was meaning, Spectral Saber. So we're going to skip it. And what we are going to do here is we want this to get rid of. So we are going to attack him. Three. Taking some damage ourselves, yes. And taking it down. And with the Spectral Saber, we're going to destroy his Blood Frenzy. So he's not going to draw any extra cards. That must hurt him bad. And you really sh always should play Blood Frenzy. This is the most powerful card in this deck. So if you like this Amber Rain deck, uh, check out my channel. Uh, the second video I uploaded is a, a deck review or overview. So you can check out uh, wh which cards are in the deck and why. So here we're going for total control almost. I was playing, I think, like three retreats and two crippling blows, so there's a big chance I'm drawing those next turn. But I have my Jasmine next turn ready to use her ability. I do not think he's going to destroy it. So that sandworm, that armor plate with worm, is no problem. So we have the upper hand now, board control. Yep, and he decides to throw the towel in the, into the ring. So yeah, I hope you like this match and I'll try to uh, upload some more matches. This was a lousy week of me, but I was pretty busy. I know I promised you some more fits, but yeah, I hope you like this match. If you want to see a different hero or maybe some meltdown matches, I'm going to save some gold for meltdown matches and I will uh, show some meltdown matches. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you next match. Cheers!